Hey guys, Jennifer Dixon here with Thrive Yoga and Wellness. I wanted to check in with you guys really fast and show you three of my favorite stretches for when I'm having to sit for a long time. So believe it or not, yoga teachers have to sit a while, or yoga studio owners, because we're you know writing blog posts, working on the website, doing whatever. And so s these are three of my favorite things that I like to do when I have to be sedentary and it will help to open up the fronts of our body. So they <coughs> they now say sitting is the new smoking, right? Or sitting is the, the biggest cancer because we're more sedentary than ever. And so I want to show you a couple of things that I can do, that you can do, that will help you to hopefully feel a little better, wake you up, and provide a little bit of relief. I, as we sit longer, the front parts of our bodies start to shorten up. So that's these hip flexors, the psoas, all of that. And as they shorten up, that puts more pressure here on the low back. So if you suffer from a lot of low back pain, tight tightness in the hips, these, these stretches will be great for you. You can do them anywhere. You can do them while you're on your couch. You can do them while you're at your desk. And they're really easy to do. You do them... Who knows? You do them several times a day. You hold them for a few breaths. The thing is, is that you have to practice them, and then you have to breathe. If you get to the point that you can't breathe, then stop, back out a little bit, and just continue to try to breathe. Try to have your posture as good as possible, so you're going to squeeze that space behind your back like your shoulder blades back together. That's going to help you to breathe a little more. And always remember trying to keep the, the lower abdominals engaged so that we can relax the low back some. So... Stretch number one, it's going to be kind of like that pigeon pose. You guys have seen me do this lots of times. I'm just going to cross my left foot over my right, being sure to keep my right foot flexed. And then if this is super easy, you can lean into it. Let me turn this way for you so you can see it this way. Again, just cross leg, lean into it. And remember to breathe. Okay, now if you want to get a little crazy, you can do a little bit of a twisting action here, which will help to open up along the side body. So I'm going to bring my left hand to my left foot, my right hand behind me, and twist. You're going to feel this twist start in the low back, and it's going to help to get all the way up the side. If you want, you can even look over that right shoulder. Remember to keep your belly in. So now we're stretching the hips out, and we're actually getting a nice lengthening along the spine. Come on back. Now leaving that foot still crossed, we're going to bring that right hand. If you have an armrest, that's fine. Or you can bring it to the side. Stretch over towards the right. So this is just going to help to intensify the stretch along the left side body. Again, remembering to keep that belly sort of in. Try not to let your shoulder go back. So we want to stay up. Now you're thinking, I don't think I can do this at my desk. Okay. Well, you can just kind of keep your hands down and do this number. I used to do all sorts of stretches at the desk. It was really funny. People would give me looks, but you know what? It didn't hurt. So if you notice, I actually have my hand on my hips, and I'm kind of pushing my hips away and my body in the opposite direction. It feels really good. So let me demonstrate this on the other side. Right foot over left, remembering that right foot's flexed. If you want to juice it up some, you can lean into this. And that's just going to help. You're going to feel this on the outside of the hips, the piriformis. This is opening up along the back side of the hips. I'm going to get to the front of the hips, I promise. Nice. And then remember, we can do that twist. Right hand to that le right foot. Left hand reaches back. Remembering belly in, chest is proud. Look over that left shoulder. And breathe. It's not yoga without the breath, right? So when your foot's out like that, you're going to feel a little bit more stretch. When your knee, rather, is out like this, this might help intensify the stretch along this right side body, which does get in a little bit more with the hip flexors and the psoas, the ilia iliacus, which is currently tied on me. All right, let's come out. Remember, we're going to do that side stretch. So the left hand comes down if you want. You could reach your arm up and overhead, but if you feel a little self-conscious for doing that at your desk, you can just kind of lean your body Hand here on your waist or up on your ribs or pressing that, that sit, that hip, and l l what is this hip joint down. It feels really good. You don't have to have this hand supported, but I kind of like to feel supported. And but then I don't have to work as hard and I can just get the stretch up. All right. So that's technically one of the stretches shown you three different ways that you can do, and that's going to help to open up the back side of the body. 
Now, if you're at your desk and you've been sitting too long, I suggest you stand up. And I know more and more people are getting the, the standing desk. Well, something that you can do, keeping your chair right there, I'm going to turn the chair this way. If your desk is in front of you and you don't really want to spend too much time looking down, you can stretch out the front of your leg. I'm going to demonstrate with my left leg first by putting your foot into the chair, hold on to the desk, and here you are getting a nice stretch in the front part of that left leg. Now, the further away you step that front foot from your, your chair, the more intense this is going to be in, that, in terms of that stretch. And you can actually get a little bit of heat building up here. This feels really great to stretch the left hip flexor. Remember as you do this, draw the belly in, lengthen through the tailbone down. It's real easy to collapse here. That's not great for the back. This is really good. You can hold on to the desk or you can work your balance. No hands. And again, this is something that I used to do, honestly, when I was on meetings that I couldn't get out of. <laughs> I would stand up because who wants to sit for 10, 12 hours a day? And I would just start to stretch out the fronts of my legs. Because the longer we sit, the, lo the shorter the, the fronts of your legs these hip flexors get. So I just switched legs. And remember, you can hold on to the desk that, or your chair or whatever's in front of you. I've got my right foot propped up into my chair, helping to really stretch that hip flexor. It's right here. Do this for a couple of breaths, just, you know, as long as you want. Now, if you want to do that same sort of stretch and you don't want to stand up, this one's a little more interesting. So the chair is now facing you. I'm going to shimmy over towards the, the right side of the chair. So basically, my right leg is hanging off. If you can, you've got the table in front of you. Drop that right knee back and down. You're going to immediately feel a little bit of a stretch here in the right, the front of that right leg, even up into this abs area, your core. Now, if you're not feeling too weird about doing this at the desk, because this, if nobody's like, if you've got a desk, nobody can really see what you're doing, right? You can lean over towards the left a little bit more, and boy, Nelly, will you feel something then. So this, you're getting a good stretch. If you want to intensify it, you'll lean away from that knee, and you're going to get a nice, good stretch along that psoas region. That's the front of the leg, which is responsible for keeping our upper and lower body parts, the legs and the, the tr trunk, together and working. Let me go demonstrate that on the other side. So here I am. My left leg is hanging off. My right leg's here. If your balance is an issue, definitely hold on to something. You can hold on to the chair. You can hold on to a desk. You can even hold on like this. I'm going to hold on to my right thigh and just k sit here and breathe. So my left knee drops down. My, right to my left toes are planted into the, the floor behind me. You can do this with shoes on. Ladies with super high heels, I'd probably take them off. Just to be honest, I don't want to scuff up the fronts of my good shoes, right? Remembering to try to sit up tall and belly in. You're going to feel this. And now if you want to juice this up a little bit, you can bring your body away from the hip. And again, you could do this number. You can do this pulling it down in reaching over, but then, you know, if you're in public, people might look at you funny, but most people wouldn't even notice that you were doing this and you're going to get a stretch. They might think, oh, she's reaching for something if you go over and do this at your desk. And again, if you do this for three to five breaths on each side, you can do it longer. I promise that you're going to feel a stretch. It'll help you to open up your hips. It'll help to provide some lengthening and stretching for the front of the body, which will provide some relief for the back of the body. I hope you enjoyed these little workout Wednesday tips and let me know what you think. Let me know what you want to work on next time. I can't wait to see you in the studio soon. Again, my name is Jennifer Dixon with Thrive Yoga and Wellness. And if you're in the Chattanooga area, we are located on East Brainerd Road behind the Zaxby's. If you are not and you still would like to work out with us, we do have an online program, Thrive Online. So it's at our website, thriveyogaandwellness.com forward slash thrive dash online. You get to have lots of little workout videos with me and some drills and tutorials just like this and more. I can't wait to see you again soon. Leave some comments down below if you want to see something in particular or if you have some questions. I can't wait to talk to you soon. Bye-bye.